Hi, my name is Alex Demchek, and this message is for the University Mail Manders Association. I'm super excited uh, to speak at your conference this fall. It's going to be great. And um, I, I really hope that all of you guys had a great summer and, and a, a great first half of the year. And so I just wanted to share three practical ways um, that you can um, have a great uh, third and fourth quarter to your business year um, and finish out the year strong. And so the first thing that I wanted to share um, with you is, is and encourage you is what is one way um, that you can um, improve a skill in your industry the second uh, half of the year? What is one thing that you've done, uh, maybe all year up until this point, that's completely inefficient um, that you need to innovate and change? What is some area that you can develop uh, a skill, develop and further your skill in that area? Uh, my friend is a track coach and he talks about the concept of negative splits. So a negative split in track is when, when you run a sprint as hard as you can and you go all out, you give it everything you have, the next sprint you have to even run harder and you have to finish it in a quicker time. So it literally takes everything out of you. Like you're spent, you're like, I can't go any faster, but it really demands your best. And so my, my challenge to you is view this year, this business year as a sprint and as a negative split. How, what can you do um, to enhance the processes in your business um, the second half of this year? And number two, how are you making other people around you better because I think we get so consumed with ourselves and how can I elevate myself um, in business but in our relationships in life but my challenge and my urge to myself and to you is that when we make the decision that we're gonna make other people better when we're gonna serve other people and add value we ourselves get better in the process and when you make the decision hey I'm gonna serve this person I'm gonna serve this client your clients benefit from it um, your, your industry, your company uh, definitely benefits from it and you benefit from it. So it's a win-win situation. Are you making people around you better? And number three, adopt a mission-minded mentality. When you're on a mission, when you truly have a goal set and you know where you're headed, it is hard to stop you. When you have um, you know a mission in mind of where you're going in life and in business, you're able to overcome obstacles that normally would, would stop you or put you on the sidelines. But when you have that vision and that mission of where you're headed, you just move past them. You just find a way around them. When you think about, uh, you know, even concerning burnout in business, a lot of people th say, I'm so burnt out. Like I can't, I, I can't even think about going back to work on Monday. I'm so burnt out. Well, just the challenge burnout. We don't get burnt out because of what we're doing. We get burnt out because we forget why we're doing it. And so my challenge to you is this, uh, if you can apply those three things, just three quick um, things to the, the end of this year um, and to the end of the summer here, I just think it'll really encourage you and, and help you propel your business forward. And so I'm really excited to meet with you uh, this fall. I think it'll be a great conference and um, I really hope that you have a great summer and I'll see you this fall.